Victor. What, what's that machine you're bringing into the studio? Looks good, huh? It looks rusty. John, what you see in front of you right now is the John Goldstein 2.0. This is you. Well, how is that me? Basically, I took the liberty of tape recording some of our conversations. Oh, have you? And, and other stuff off the radio. Mm-hmm. Using editing equipment to refine some of the raw tape. And I just worked some of these buttons. And here's a little example of Jonathan Goldstein 2.0. Hi, this is Jonathan Goldstein. That, Howard, that's really creepy. Or I push this button. Mustache. Or I can push that button. Sandwich. This button. Uh-huh. Or this button and that button in succession. Mustache. Sandwich. You see? Or this one. <laughs> it's like a little symphony of Goldstein. Howard, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. Now you can take that long vacation you've always wanted while the new you takes over. Howard, that's not the new me. That's a, that's a machine. Okay, let's, that... let's say you're out of town. I can come to the studio. You would. I mean, I'm, I'm the one that's familiar with the machinery. Mm-hmm. I would sit down, press the buttons... Get your salary, and you, you're vacationing. You're having a great time. You're drinking, and Howard, you're sitting and drinking. This is the most ludicrous idea you've yet to come up with. Is it? It is. Compared to all the other ideas I've had. Top five. This is one that's piquing your interest, though, obviously. No, it isn't. I can see the glimmer in your eye. That's not a glimmer. There's a shine in your there eye. There's no shine in my that's eye. That's saying, Howard in the studio, peace of mind. Those words, they don't go together. Not like these words. Mustache, spaghetti. All right, Howard, enough, please. Just hear me out for a second here. Now, you're going to get the experience to be interviewed. By Jonathan Goldstein. Oh, am I? See, it's funny because you've interviewed so many people, but you've never interviewed yourself. And I find that kind of sad because you haven't had a chance to be interviewed by, by one of the best, may I say. Mm-hmm. Go, go ahead, John. Tell me a little story. Okay, you want a story? Okay, here's my story. You know, I was uh, working... Oh, that's interesting. ...when my friend Howard decided to come by. Uh-huh. And huh. now I'm... Mm-hmm. God, and now okay, uh-huh. and now I'm getting no mm-hmm. work done because no, that's I'm... interesting. How could you stop with that thing, please? I think this is wonderful. It's no, a... it's not wonderful. This, Howard... That was a ten out of ten. But basically, now you can save time without having to do all those pesky radio endorsements that you celebs have to do. Howard, I don't do any endorsement. You did it. You did a foot powder one. I've never used foot powder. You don't? No. You should. Let me give you a little example, like infomercial style. Right. This is Howard Chaco. It's from the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation's Wiretap, promoting my latest line of clothing, and it's great. And don't just take it from me. Take it from Wiretap's very own head and nick, Jonathan Goldstein. John? Hi, this is Jonathan Goldstein. Whatever Howard says is truth. Super best pants. Suede, you can put ice cream in your pants. With Jonathan Goldstein on C... That's the credit lady, Howard. You don't even know your own voice. Howard, is that not a woman? Uh, you often sound like a woman. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's feminine. You're in touch with your feminine side. Howard, it doesn't sound like me. Believe it or not, I knew this was going to happen. You know, I knew you wouldn't believe the whole thing. So I've, 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 now I've used the Goldstein 2.0 in real world situations mm-hmm. here. You see? Yeah. I've, I've assembled a little montage here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just, just to prove to you, to drive it home once and for all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here we go. I was applying for a job. As a bank manager. As a bank manager. As a bank manager. And, you... I, and I used to use a reference. Why would you use me anyway, as a reference? Anyway, let's just hear what it sounds like when the supervisor called back to speak to Jonathan Goldstein. Hello? This is Norma Greenberg calling from First City Bank for Mr. Jonathan Goldstein regarding Howard Chacolet. Oh, 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 one moment, please. Let, let me get Mr. Goldstein. He's just in the, in the toilet. Uh, uh, restroom, restroom. One moment, please. Hi, this is Jonathan Goldstein. Hello, Mr. Goldstein. Hi. We've recently received a job application from a Mr. Shakowitz, mm-hmm. and he's listed you as a reference. Mm-hmm. In fact, your name, Mr. Goldstein, came up several times on his resume as an employer. How are his response able? It says here that he's been your account manager mm-hmm. and financial advisor for your radio show. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. He does light lifting. Mm-hmm. He's worked for you as a translator. Mm-hmm. He's done security work for you. I, I, you know, Howard, I feel violated. If you feel violated now, wait till you hear this. Hi, Mr. Goldstein. This is Steve calling from Video Club. Mm-hmm. Uh, Howard Shackwitz was in here earlier, and he said you'd authorized him to use your membership card to make some rentals today. Whatever. Howard want give to Howard. Okay, well, thanks for confirming that with us, Mr. Goldstein. 
Oh, and uh, while I've got you on the line, your copy of Yentl is a day late, so if you could go ahead and What did you rent there? I needed some things. I needed the PlayStation 3. I needed a whole mess of games. I was entertaining. Wait, but for that much stuff, you're supposed to give them a credit card, and yours was ripped up at LaserQuest. Hmm. <sighs> Howard, how did you get my credit card? We're going to find that out, John, in tape clip number three, or what I like to call Jonathan Goldstein 2.0 in Howard in Charge. All right, Mr. Goldstein, just to make sure I have it correct, the additional young spender's charge card on your credit card account is for your son, Howard Shackowitz. Uh -huh. And again, you do not want the prepaid card, but you are requesting the one with limitless spending. Howard is responsible. You're aware that we do usually recommend a $500 limit for teenagers. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, and as a security measure, may I ask you for the name of your childhood pet? Mr. Mustache. And just to confirm, may I have your existing credit card number one more time? Four, five, one, five, six, nine, two, five. Doesn't sound five. like you, eh, John? Howard, listen to me. Yes. You are canceling that credit card. But you signed me up for that. You, you, is, is a parent. Right. Hey, well, and what's this button over here on the side? That, that's the monologue button. If you push that button, it just goes on and on mm -hmm. and on. Right. Here, here, I'll, I'll give you a little taste, though. Monday. Poor me. Poor me. Gray, crying, but these dogs, and it's raining. My navel. I was not breastfed. It's sad. What? And, you know, I make a uh, thought. I like Melba Toast. Howard is really great. Okay, Howard, that's enough. Wait, 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 wait here, here, there's more. Listen to this one. Listen to this. Saturday, I, I take Howard to the park and buy him more money. Howard! Very special. Howard eating and meatballs. I make Howard banana cake in the fridge. This cutting edge piece of technology is better than you. Oh, now it's better than me. Yeah, for many reasons. For one reason, I can shut it off. And you know what? You don't need to put foot powder on this thing. You know, call Gregor. Let's let's put it to the test. Let's call call up Gregor right now. Put it to the test. Okay. And then will you leave me alone? Put it to the test. Put it to the test. Put it to the test. What are you doing? Okay. I put it to the test. All right. All right. Let's uh, hang on a second. I'll get him up on the line. What's up? Hi. This is Jonathan Goldstein. It's a good thing you called because I was just thinking about you. Uh -huh. It came to me like a flash of insight. Uh -huh. What your biggest problem is? Uh -huh. You think like a coupon cutter. Uh -huh. You're not a person who has grabbed the steering wheel of life. Uh -huh. You're sitting in the passenger seat, uh -huh. but you're just glad you're not paying for gas. Uh -huh. Your fundamental problem, in a nutshell, uh -huh. is that you're a weak individual uh -huh. who can't think for himself. Uh -huh. Do you agree? Yes. I feel like we just had a breakthrough moment. Do you feel like we did? Uh huh. I feel like for the first time, you are taking steps toward being your own man. Uh-huh. Johnny, did you have seltzer water instead of regular water for lunch? Because uh -huh. you're sounding much more vital than I remember you. Uh-huh. Johnny, listen, I got to go. I got a work call coming in. Uh-huh. But, one, oh, there is one more thing. I told my herpetologist friend he can stay at your place with the snakes. Uh -huh. All right, good talk. I'll talk to you later. The guy totally thought it was you. No, Howard, he wasn't paying attention. Gregor doesn't pay attention. All right, John, who would be the best judge of who you I are? I would think I am. I, I'm the best judge. Well, we're not going to call you up because you already know that it's you, and you're just going to be talking to yourself. We've seen that before, called a monologue, and we try to avoid it. We're going to call your mother. No, we are not. We are going to call your mother. No, And that'll no. settle this issue Howard, once and for all. I don't want to call my mother right John, now. John, there's a challenge on the table. I'm rising to meet it, and you are as well. We're calling your mother right now. And you know what would be so bad if you called your mother once in a while? I call my mother plenty, Howard. Mm, that's not what I hear. What are, what are you talking about? What do you hear? We're going to call her right now. That's, I'm, I'm not even listening. Okay, We're going to call her right, right now. Well, I'll dial her up. But if this thing freaks her out... I'll throw it out the window. There lies my confidence in the Jonathan Goldstein 2.0 soundboard machine. Truth. Melba toast. <laughs> Please stop doing that. Hello? Who's there? Hello, my mother. Johnny? What's the matter? No thing matters, my mother. So? I like Melba Toast. Yeah. So what else? I like mustache. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's nice to hear from you. Howard, treat me a good friend. Oh, 
You want to talk to Howard? He just left. He stayed for dinner, and then he ate and ran. Uh, 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 Buzz, who put socks in a microwave? Where did you learn uh, that? Uh, Goodbye. Well, what was all that about? What was what about? You had dinner at my mother's house. I, um... Today? I know I was there last week. I was... It's... Howard, how often do you eat at my mother's house? Anyway, the, the, the point is the gold scene 2.0 passed. My mother was distracted. Gregor doesn't know he's too busy to listen to me. You, my mother doesn't even know who I am. I find it kind of sad. Oh, you, oh, you do? Yeah. Uh-huh. Maybe you need to spend some time with the machine to learn how to be a better you. Okay, Howard, I got to get back to work, all right? I have no more time for this. Just let, let yourself out. I'll see, I'll see you later. Real but sure. Real nice Jonathan Goldstein 1.0. Or should I say Jonathan Goldstein 0.0. <laughs> Well, you're still here. How are you doing? What do you think of that? Jonathan Goldstein, best friend together, loves you. Yes, exactly. Howard, a good friend, response, able. You always understand me. You and me. Right. Ice cream in your pants. Well, you can have ice cream too, but it might short your circuits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get some ice cream. Howard, so smart. Thank you. That's really encouraging. Howard. Thank you.